I'm going to do a six round transition drill standing unsupported uh, all with nine mil at 100 yards on a gong uh, CMMG guard and a Glock 17. Hundred yards still, single hand. All right, so we're at the hundred yard distance at the FOP range, and I'm gonna put a five round group on the target um, from a hundred yards shooting at this one. These are all 22 long rifles. Somebody left the target up here, so it should be pretty easy to see what's nine mil and what's not. And I just want to get an idea of what, what, what the group size is and point of impact, point of aim. That's the uh, steel gong we've been shooting. Uh, you may have seen in some of the other videos to give you an idea of the size reference. I mean, it's, it's pretty small, smaller than I thought it was when we were shooting at it. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna pause this and run it back out to a hundred yards and um, or I won't pause it, I'll just fast, uh, fast motion the video, but so that y'all will believe that I didn't pause it and shoot, but and do a, a hundred round group uh, with the Glock. I better turn this around, or somebody will swear that somebody's back there poking a group in it, assuming that the group doesn't suck. You didn't want me to go poke holes in it? Oh yeah, we got your nine mil yeah. pin. <laughs> Five rounds, hundred yard group. You clear? Good to go. Still recording. All right, looking for five rounds of nine mil to hundred yards. We hold this. There's the one I jerked. That's one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I can touch all these four with one hand. Um, pretty decent group right there. And then the flyer down there. I'm pretty happy with that at 100 yards. I mean, I feel like that's all in my body, right? Yep. So, um, when is this applicable in the real world? Probably never, unless it's an active shooter situation or open parking lot or something like that. You think about that concert, you know, you know they had police officers at that concert in Vegas where people were shooting. And if you could identify where the flash was coming from in the hotel room, and you're a cop on the ground and you happen to feel like there's something you could help with, and all you had was a handgun, it's nice to know if there's a torso sitting out of that hotel window that you could take a shot at the muzzle blast and at least get the guy bleeding and thinking a little bit about his life decision. So take it for what it's worth. It's not a beautiful group, but I'll take it at 100 yards. All right, five round group, uh, Glock 19 at 100 yards, and we'll go check it out in a minute. All right, we'll see. 
So the ones that aren't marked are yours. Yep. So definitely one high. I'm guessing somewhere in here because I tore yeah, the paper. Yeah, that's yeah. That's two, three, three, and then four, four here. And, and I think I you. Five maybe. No, I think that's five, and I think you hit. I think you hit the bar, and it splattered. So I came down. Yeah. Hit the bar and came down. Yeah. I think we would have heard that. Did, did, did we hear? Not if it barely nicked it. Yeah. But that wasn't there, I don't think. We'll be able to check, go back and look at it. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there. Yeah, I don't think it was there yeah that's definitely. Sweet. Hey, man. Uh, stand, where, where, are, where are your shots? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, three, three of those are in a torso. Yeah. At least get somebody's head down behind cover so I can get out of there. Word. <laughs>